Assalamualaikum. So we continue with uh, chapter number six. Okay, part number two. So here in part number one, we see the macroscopic diffusion. So now we see the microscopic diffusion or, uh, in other words, the random walk. Okay, so a molecule is said to move in discrete step of fixed length Delta, and to take this step at fixed interval of time tau. Okay, so this macam uh, macam kita bekerja satu kerja beberapa lama kita kerja lepas tu kita pindah kerja tempat lain ataupun kita duduk di rumah satu rumah lepas berapa lama kita pindah ke rumah yang baru ataupun kalau undergraduate master dan PhD okay. so undergraduate nak 4 tahun uh, master 2 tahun PhD 3 tahun okay. so that is the time interval fix uh, time interval sebagai contoh if a random walk has a no directional bias then the probability of step in either direction will be equal ok so uh, dia nak pergi ke, ke kiri ke kanan ke dia tak tak kisah dia tak tak ada orang yang apa, tak ada orang yang uh, influence dia ok so it go uh, ikut suka hati dia ok so the probability of stepping right or left are taken as P and Q sorry where P plus Q equal to 1 ok plus P plus Q equal to 1 if n step are taken the probability of having m right step is given by the binomial distribution so so you can review the binomial distribution p m equal to n factorial p m q n minus m n minus m factorial m factorial okay so the number of m right step <coughs> okay so Calculating the mean displacement from the origin as a function of time x bar x p bar. Okay, so the mean number of right step m bar equal to m p m. Again, these are the expression value m p m. So m equal to n m bar or the right step equal to n time p. Okay, the number of step multiplied by the probability of weight function of p okay so the mean displacement is equal to x bar equal to 2m bar minus n delta or equal to n p minus q delta equal to 0 and this one equal to 0 if p equal to q equal to 0 0.5 okay so maknanya kalau ini p equal to q equal to 0 0.5 maknanya dia mula daripada satu point dia akhir pun dekat point yang sama maknanya dia tak dia macam tak gerak langsung ok so this one ok so calculation on mean square displacement from the origin as a function of time x p squared to m squared equal to m squared p m ok so again this one is from your PDA I believe or your statical thermodynamic so m squared equal to n p squared plus n p q okay so the number of p the number of p times q okay so we can calculate it is uh, the mean number right to the right okay and the, the mean displacement uh, the mean square displacement from the origin of expansion of time x t squared equal to x squared equal to del squared 2 m minus n squared okay or D or the mid one is del squared T over tau where T equal to N tau okay so we have uh, this del squared N so here we can see that the, the the mean square displacement is just how how big the step is taken time the number of step taken okay so kalau kita lang contohnya Contohnya, kalau saya melangkah, satu langkah saya sama dengan 0.5 meter, okay, mungkin uh, uh, anak saya kalau langkah dia cuma 0.1 meter. 
okay so we can see the the displacement of that uh, movement okay so we can calculate using this equation okay so here x squared equal to square root of del squared t over tau equal to the gain like the before the part one so x squared equal to square root of 2 dt or d equal to del squared over d tau okay so we can estimate the division constant using this value okay we know the step how big a step and the uh, the the relaxation time of that step so we can see the every step size delta and frequency of the motion of the division division a particle doing collision with other molecule okay so we have uh, this value okay so uh, we can use this gaussian distribution from your pda so relate the random walk with the gaussian distribution so as n become larger the probability distribution for the random walk goes to the gaussian function obtained by solving the division equation okay so we have the same this one is supposed to to be 4 dt d 2 uh, delta okay so you can see that the gaussian distribution equal to the uh, constant threshold meaning that we can use this uh, equation or this equation depend on uh, microscopic or macroscopic uh, uh, problem that we think so one region where the Gaussian limit really cannot be correct is for x greater than n uh, de delta ok so this one cannot be correct so if we set x squared is greater so we have uh, this error ok the largest possible displacement occur with all n step in the same direction ok so this one you know, kalau semua kalau kita melangkah ke kanan semua semuanya ke melangkah kanan so kita akan berada paling jauh daripada kita punya initial point point so the Gaussian function give actually low probability for larger displacement but their probability is zero in the random form okay so this Okay, so uh, this one, so this one is uh, to produce the division equation from this microscopic theory. So uh, we start with the probability of arriving at position R at time T plus DT. So PR T plus DT equal to uh, minus infinity to infinity PR plus delta T psi delta D delta. So where PR plus delta t the probability of arriving at r plus delta after time t and psi delta the probability of jumping from r plus delta to r in the time of t t okay so we have uh, this really this probability so using the Taylor theorem the expansion pr t plus dt equal to this equation and PR plus delta T, so PR. So if we put this and this into this equation, okay, so we are going to get uh, this equation. So if we integrate uh, using our calculus, so we have the first one is PRT, the second term is zero, the third term is this equation, okay, so rearrange. PRT, PRT 0, so we have DT, DP, so D, there's a PRT, DT, 1 over DT, so this equation, so again, we are going to get the probability as the, again, you can see that these are just the division equation, but the parameter is the probability.
probability rather than the concentration. So here D equal to the division constant is to 1 over dt, 1 over 2 del squared, psi delta d delta. Okay, so again we have uh, this solution. Meaning that we can also find the division constant using this information. Okay, so the friction and division are closely related. Okay, so kalau dia moving, so we have the friction. So the molecular collision that generate brown motion will also retard sustain motion in any direction. So a molecule in solution under the influence of external force Fe is related by the field is movement is opposed by friction Fp. Duration is Fp minus equal to minus Fv where friction coefficient and V equal to molecular velocity. Okay, so when V increase, the velocity increase, F E equal to F F. So therefore, F E minus F V equal to zero. So V equal to F E over F. So J C X V, the, the, the flux equal to C X times V equal to C X F E over F. So the external force, okay, by the external force, so division by external force, and the division, okay, so we have Cx Fe over F minus D del Cx over del X, so these are the, by concentration, by this is the external force equal to zero, okay, solving that, so we are going to get the Einstein division coefficient, okay, solving this, DC DX, F E D F D X C X equal to C not exponential F E X D F C X equal to C not exponential minus F E X K T. So taking this one, so we are going to get D equal to K T over F. Okay, so meaning that uh, for the external uh, force, the division constant can be calculated using this equation. So KB is Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature, and F is the, the final uh, constant. Okay, so we can get the division constant. Okay, so friction slow, diffusion down, regardless of the shape of the molecule or the viscosity of the fluid. Okay, so friction. Fluctuation that give rise to division also give rise to the friction. Okay, so kalau kita bergerak Banyak, maknanya kita banyak bergeser Okey, geseran me, me, Menghasilkan geseran Okey, and imbalance Between FF and FE The friction And the uh, E, the flux Reduce flux So J equal to D CXFE over KT Minus partial DCX over DX So this one is Known as the nurse Planck equation when external force is an electrical force. Okay, so the Nernst Planck equation. Okay, so these are the flux using this uh, Nernst equation. <coughs> okay, so the Stoke law. So this one is from our if uh, we from our fluid mechanics. Okay, so so if we have fluid mechanics. So if the frictional coefficient can be measured or a theory used to derive it, then they when calculate the division coefficient, D since D equal to KT over F, so the frictional coefficient of spherical particle again, so we have, if we assume that the molecule is in a spherical uh, form, so F equal to 6 pi eta times R, where R is radius, Eta is the viscosity of the fluid. Okay, so if we put this into this equation, so we can also find the division coefficient as the Stoke-Einstein relation d equal to kt over 6 pi eta times. Uh, okay, so we can estimate the division constant by looking at the viscosity of the fluid and the radius of the the radius of the molecule. Ok, 
Okay, so here for the global protein, uh, spherical protein, so we assume G equal to 1 over square root of 3M and for the random coil, D equal to 1 over square root, square root of M. Okay, so we have this diffusion constant for the this macro molecule. Okay, so M, M, so this one diffusion constant will be much smaller than this random coil. Okay, so the last one I believe is the lateral diffusion in membrane. Okay, so so this one if we are moving contohnya kalau kita ada meja so kita letak air dekat meja tu ataupun kita letak bola dekat meja tu so dekat mana dia akan berpindah. Okay. So here Okay, both lipid and protein uh, undergo random walk within the plane of a lipid, lipid by the membrane. So, dia ber, bergerak, uh, dia associate, dissociate, associate, dissociate. Okay, so macam pembukaan bulan juga lah. Okay, so bila pembukaan bulan, bila astronaut melompat, melompat, melompat ke mana dia pergi ok so uh, is the same as this lipid and protein ok so this one uh, demonstrated by this prep of Rosen collection spectroscopy ok so when we shine the the light to the lipid bilayer membrane so uh, we have the photo bleaching so when uh, then photo bleaching so no no molecule at that side so the molecule from other side will try to recover or move to this photo bleach side okay so two dimensional diffusion coefficient of both lipid and protein 10 to the x minus 2 x minus 2 lower than typical global protein so in two dimension there is no steady state solution to the Devon equation for fluid flow and that makes the mathematics much more challenging. So this one we use the computer, okay, computer algebraic system to solve, okay, or the programming to solve the uh, division, division of that uh, protein or membrane, uh, lipid or protein in on that membrane. Okay, so here we have one without any proof so we have the Safman Delbrack equation dl equal to kt over 4 pi eta mh ln eta mh over eta uh, w a minus 0 0.5772 okay so here we can see that we can find the division lateral division constant so here we can see that this moving from here to here so uh, eta m uh, v is the mem viscosity of the membrane and the aqueous me medium a is the radius of cylinder embedded in the membrane and h is membrane of membrane of thickness of the membrane okay so we can calculate the division co constant for this uh, this uh, this membrane uh, this molecule on the membrane mana ber berapa cepat dia berpindah daripada contohnya dari hujung ni ke hujung ni kita kita boleh tahu dia dia punya division constant okay so that's all for this chapter thank you